Hello everybody, welcome to my YouTube channel. Today we're going to be playing Celeste, and I'm going to be going through the first few chapters of the game. So I'm going to create a new save. I'm going to delete this one. New save. Oh, I'm going to rename the character to be... Hello YouTube. Actually, no. I'm just going to have it be Madeline, for story's sake. Here we go. This is it, Madeline. Just breathe. Why are you so nervous? Boing. Oop, that fell. And squeeze. Squeeze. I like squeeze. This animation is so derpy and I love it. Excuse me, ma'am. The sign out front is busted. Is this the mountain trail? You're almost there. It's just across the bridge. By the way, you should call someone about your driveway. The ridge collapsed and I nearly died. If my driveway almost did you in, the mountain might be a bit too much for you. Oh, she's angry. <laughs> well, if an old bat like you can survive out here, I think I'll be fine. Suit yourself. But you should know, Celeste Mountain is a strange place. You might see things, things you ain't ready to see. You should seek help, lady. And I'm gonna get my dash in a bit. The bridge is collapsing. No! Bird. Hello, bird. And now I can dash. You can do this. And now we move on to chapter 1, The Forsaken City. There we go. Strawberry. Slime. There. Another strawberry. I'm gonna try and collect some of those strawberries, but I probably won't get all of them. I'm gonna get this one. If the strawberries have wings, that means you don't you can't dash in the level, otherwise they will fly away. So you have to complete the entire screen without dashing. Otherwise you can dash like this. Strawberry. Another strawberry. Is there something out here? Yeah, there is. Knew it. Strawberry. Now, this game may look easy when I'm playing it, but trust me, this is one of the most difficult games I've ever played. I've just played it so much that. I'm actually okay at it. And now we meet Theo. Yay. Hello there, fellow traveler. Oh, hi. What a killer night for a hike. I guess so. This place is so crazy. I kinda can't believe it exists. Not the easiest climb, is it? But I guess that's what I was looking for. 
Whoa, that sounds pretty serious. I'm just happy to see another human in such a lonely place. I'm Theo, by the way, an adventurer from a far off land. Not much of a talker, are you? Mysterious lone wolf type, I get it. I'll just imagine some dark backstory for you. Hey, sorry, I'm Madeline. I've got a lot on my mind. Well, Madeline, I'd, I'd say you have... Ah, words and... I'd say you've come to the right place. I'm freezing my toes off, but I can't imagine a better place to, to be for some quiet reflection. Maybe you're right. What far off land do you hail from? Well, my inquisitive compatriot, I doth hail from the ma mystical, exotic kingdom of Seattle. It sounds like a special place. This place is wild. Why would an entire city be abandoned? I read that some mega corporation started building it, then no one wanted to live here. I wonder why. We'll, we'll find out in a bit. My money is on a government cover-up. What a waste to build all of this for no reason. At least we get to enjoy the leftovers. Are you here to explore this city? Yeah, I have a thing for abandoned places, and I like to think of myself as a budding photographer. I almost said photographer. That would have been funny. Oh really? Cool. Do you have a blog or something? A blog? Madeline. Everyone uses Instapix now. I'm Theo Understars, look me up. He does actually have an Instagram account and you can look him up and you'll see images from the game. This terrain is pretty tricky. Are you turning back soon? Nope, I'm heading for the summit. I can really see the determination in your eyes. It's inspiring. If you say so. I bet you could make it to the summit too. Maybe. I don't really care about reaching the top TBH. Oh, but I heard there are some legit old ruins up beyond this city. Like 80,000s legit. I know it's risky, but I have to see them for myself. What's the thing you say right before you do something irresponsible? Uh, throw caution to the wind? No, that's not it. Alright. YOLO! And that's Theo. I'm burning! Ah, fire! Okay, let's continue. I love the music in this game. So, upbeat most of the time. Even when it's not upbeat, it's still great. No, it's probably... Some of the music in this game is very upbeat, and some of the music in this game is very mysterious. Yeah, I almost missed that. I'm not gonna get the crystal hearts now, but I might get them later in another episode to go back and collect all the crystal hearts to unlock chapter 8. Another strawberry. There we go. Yeah, 
another strawberry. Lining. Strawberry. I wonder if I've collected all the strawberries. Oh, it doesn't show me yet. Oh, we'll see. This one's pretty finicky. I'm gonna die a few times on this one. People die thousands of times in this game, so it's okay. I have over 900 deaths on my main save. Get that strawberry. Oh well, it's fine. Oh, kept my momentum. This one might be a bit difficult to get as well. See if I can get it first try. Yes, got it. Ah, squeeze. Ah, squeeze. Ah, squeeze. I like squeeze. And we made it to the top. The last mountain, this memorial is dedicated to those who perished on the climb. Luckily, we didn't perish on the climb. Ah, I'm exhausted. Gared. This might have been a mistake. Backgrounds in this game are very cute. Shaky, 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 wiggly. We got almost all the strawberries and only died three times. That's a new record for me. Okay, this will be it for today's episode of Celeste. Uh, I'll see you next time. Goodbye.